Hello, welcome to Photoix. This is part uh, two of my HDR basics video using Lightroom and Photomatics. In the last video, I showed you how to create an HDR image using Photomatics and three differently exposed images. Uh, this was the finished result that we got from that video. Uh, if you haven't watched that, I suggest you do so. And I'll put a link on this video to that. Okay, so I've re-imported this image into Lightroom as you saw, and we can continue to adjust the image using the Lightroom settings uh, in the develop module. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, as I pointed out in the first video, we have some dust spots up here. Let's go back to 1.1. One, one. So I need to get rid of these. So to do that, we come over here to the spot removal tool, make sure it's set on heel, and adjust the brush using your mouse scroll wheel or the bracket keys, and we just click onto these dust spots to get rid of them. Just check the rest of the image. Okay, I think. Can't see any more. Ah, that's good. So, as you can see now, those dust spots have been cloned away. Now, the next settings I'm going to play with, um, I'm just going to play with this recovery slider, see what happens. As you can see, um, just adjust the intensity of that sun a little bit. I'm not sure I like. That result. I think I'm going to leave that on naught. I don't need any fill light. I don't think I want any blacks either, to be honest. Maybe just a little bit of contrast. And I'm going to add some clarity as well. Now the um, the three images that we created this from didn't have any sharpening added at all. So it's going to be quite soft. Um, especially with this grass down here, which obviously would have been moving slightly in the wind. So we're going to need to add some sharpening. Not too much, I don't want to over sharpen, just a little. And again, as I've said in uh, previous videos, press the Alt key whilst using this masking tool and all the areas in white will be sharpened the areas in black won't be so I'll leave that there I think now noise reduction as you saw in the first video we did actually add some noise reduction using photomatics itself um, but as you can see in the image it's still a little bit noisy so I'm going to want to add a little bit in Lightroom as well. Not too much, I don't want the image to go too soft. Just enough. Just enough to smooth it a little bit. Okay, I think that's probably pretty good. Now as you uh, would have seen in the previous video we had a problem down here uh, because this woman was actually walking away from me during the three exposures obviously she's moved and we've got this uh, this weird halo thing uh, let's zoom in a bit more to 3.1 so you can see now I'm not sure I haven't tried this yet uh, if Lightroom is going to be able to deal with this but we'll give it a go um, using the clone brush come down here and see if we can clone out this uh, kind of second head that she's got going on we might need to export this image to Photoshop to do this uh, it might be a little bit too much for Lightroom to cope with but we'll give it a go and see what happens not going to hurt to try Let's try that. 
You know, it doesn't look too bad. It's not perfect. And don't forget, I am zoomed in to 3.1 here. So on the full uh, the um, viewing size, obviously you can't see it. Uh, let's have a look at one to one. You can just about see where I've edited it, but to be honest, it's not it's not too bad. I think you could probably get away with that. Uh, just try tidying it up a little bit more. There's a couple of bits there that look a bit out of place. So move this bit down a little. Yeah, I think we've probably got away with that. To be honest. So. Even Lightroom surprises me sometimes. I, mean, I wasn't expecting Lightroom to cope with that very well, but uh, it's not done too bad. And there's another bit over here. This bit's going to be uh, a bit more difficult. This was a piece of wild grass that was blowing in the wind. Uh, as you can see, it's created this uh, kind of ghost thing here. So I'm going to want to try and get rid of this. Again, using the clone tool, let's see if we can. I don't think this bit's going to be quite as successful. Just keep plugging away at it just in case. Let's just see if we can salvage it. It's not looking too great at the moment, to be honest. It's not too bad. Let's see what it looks like. Obviously, at this size, you, you can't really see it. So, at full size, you can see something's gone on there. If you didn't know it was there, you'd probably not notice it, to be honest. But um, I know it's there, so I notice it straight away. No, it's not bad. I mean, um, as I said, if you didn't know it was there, you wouldn't know that I'd done anything to that. I think what I'll do, I think I'll leave it as that for now. Um, this video, just to show you, but I might create another video and uh, export this image to Photoshop and uh, show you the differences what you can do with Photoshop and Lightroom. Um, I think for this image there's probably not a lot more I want to do to it. Um, the trouble with HDR, HDR, sorry, HDR is it's so easy to take it too far and go overboard. Um, I want this to be as natural looking as possible. I think I've probably just about got it right as it is. So I don't think I'm going to do any more to that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and export this as a JPEG. So we'll come up here to File, Export. And I'm just going to put this on the desktop for now. Now, as you can see, uh, the name of this is my standard uh, camera format, and then plus all the images. So the image number is 6541, and we've also used the uh, 6540 and 6539. I'm just going to leave it as that for now, but you might want to rename. And I'm going to leave everything else as it is. I'm going to include a watermark on the top right, or no, top left, I think we'll go for actually. Top left, and we'll click export. And that's then exported that image to my desktop. And there it is. Okay, so uh, I'm going to do part three of this video, and I think yeah, I'll go into Photoshop to clean out this halo on the woman's head and to sort out the bit of ghosting over here. So I can just quickly show you the differences between uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. I hope you found this useful, and if you have any questions or comments, uh, just leave me a message or send me an email. Uh, the website is now fully up and running. www photox.co.uk
There's a link in the description. I'd appreciate it if you go have a look. Thanks very much.